So this is the problem. Yeah. I did. I did cry. We got scammed. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, wow. Imagine I just like eat it. <laughs> So a few months ago, EF Ultimate Break reached out and asked if I'd want to do a trip with them. I thought it sounded like a lot of fun, so I said, heck yeah, picked out a tour. 11 days traveling through London, Paris, and Rome. I really wanted to bring my amazing assistant and friend, Alegria, along for the adventure. So after a lot of prepping, planning, and some secret keeping, I got to surprise her with this trip to Europe. So you know how you were talking to me the other day about one of my dreams is here to go to Paris. What if you did? But with me, and to London, no. and to Rome. Shut up. Yeah. No! Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as EF Ultimate Break is a tour company that does tours for people ages 18 to 29, but they also have additional tours for other age groups as well. So I definitely recommend checking out their site if you're interested. EF does tours all around the world, Greece, Ireland, Japan, Egypt, Thailand, all around Italy, Iceland. There's really a lot of variety and all with different pacing and vibes, depending on what you're looking for. Now keep in mind this is a tour, so there is a lot of walking, a lot of exploring, but you really do get to see a ton. Typically, accommodations for EF are hostels shared with your tour mates, but you can upgrade to Ultimate Plus, which is the route that we did where it's a two person to a room hotel. I'll have the tour that I did linked below and the code JESSICA100 will get you $100 off a tour with them, more money to travel with, so definitely don't forget to use it. One final thing to note is that my travel bucket list is pretty extensive and between London, Paris, and Rome, I have quite a few things I really want to try checking off, so 11 days to try to make it happen. Let's go. Thank you. Everything copy, copy. Are you excited? <laughs> Hello guys, guess where I am? I'm at the airport. We've been here for the last couple of hours. Been chilling, getting some work done, trying to stay hydrated. <laughs> Even though Allegria does not like to drink water. <laughs> I call you out the first two minutes of the vlog. Imagine what if you became like a, a water drinking queen after this. I do, I know, just like mandatory water break. <laughs> so time check, it's currently 2 p.m. Our flight takes off in an hour and a half. A little fit check for you guys. I've got on my Teza creative department sweatshirt, some black Everlane leggings, and for shoes, I've got these New Balance 590. V5? I don't know. They're cool. They're very comfy. Great for walking, which is what I really needed because it's a very walking intensive type of tour. So I wanted to make sure my feet would be nice and comfy. I also have this cute scarf that I'm currently not wearing because it's too warm and a nice coat. get things on close. This lighting is not it, but 15 minutes until we board. Group two, no home to board. The flight was 10 hours long, but it really was not too bad. The food on the flight was also really solid. I had a chicken and veggies dish for the dinner meal. Did you do that on purpose? Then several hours later, they gave us a little snack. And just before we landed, they gave us a breakfast meal of yogurt, granola, and a granola bar. To pass the time, I read, I edited a video, I played some MK11 on my Switch, 
and of course I napped. Allegria actually zonked out pretty quick, but she did wake up a few times throughout to eat and just hang out. And then right after breakfast, we started seeing the first signs of England. We made it. We'd like to welcome to London to Sears International Airport. Today is Friday, April 1st. Local time here is approximately 9.52 a.m. It will take our captain just a few minutes to pack their craft to the gate. So please make sure you have all your personal belongings with you before you leave. Please use caution when open or within as items may have shifted during flight. And on behalf of the entire flight crew, it has been certainly been our pleasure having you on board today. Ooh, she's <laughs> We wish you all a very pleasant weekend and safe travels. Thank you very much. the rest of the group that is getting transported to the hotel with us and we are also waiting for a driver to come I guess like collect us and then we're all gonna go to the hotel and then we just get to hang out at the hotel for a little bit then we go do a group orientation thank you very much thank you very much okay have a good stay yeah Traveling classic, the room tour. Also, shout out to Ella Greer for being in the closet. You can't can come out there. She so was trying not to be shot. in the way. Shout out for that. <laughs> we got our shower, toilet, a nice countertop, a big mirror. Hey guys, like and subscribe. Mirror on the doors, which honestly is so nice because you know sometimes you want an OOTD, you want a photo. Boom, little bench to set things on. We've got a nice big desk, TV, my bed, Allegria's bed and the piece de resistance. The view, she's cute. Look at this, I think this is a classic London type of view. It is just beautiful, rich with architecture. And that is our hotel tour. Now time to shower because I feel Von Yucky after <laughs> what, we've been going straight for like 16 hours. Because mm -hmm. we have to be down in the hotel lobby in about an hour and a half to do a little walking orientation. And then we have a welcome dinner. It's been a minute since you guys last saw me. I have refreshed, showered, redid the makeup, changed outfits. It's actually not as cold as I thought it would be. Anyways, we've convened with the tour group and we've made our way over to, dun, 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 dun. wait, I missed. Big, big, Big Ben? Big Ben. First impressions Hello. on Big Ben. It is. Stunning. Isn't it beautiful? Stunning. My hair needs some TLC. Gotta fix that. I decided to try to do a little half up, half down claw clip. Look how good this turned out. It never turns out good the first time. Luck is with me today. Had a little photo session. Now we're doing like a little walking guided tour with our very nice go, tour guide, Adam. And we're kind of just walking down the whole Westminster area, looking at where Parliament resides. Resides? Presides. In the history of this city, it was the only project they built Waterloo Bridge. It was the only project that came in under time and under budget. Yeah, Allegria, what do the red tassels on his head symbolize? A horse's tail. Why? Because they want to be one with the horse. Ooh. Going into battle. Ooh, I love it. I remember. Trivia. Learn from Adam. You guys, check out this American candy store. How funny. Twinkies, they're like, look, we got Twinkies. They have Takis. <laughs> it's an amazing museum and it's free to enter. You just need to go online beforehand and book the time. I've been taking a couple photos in this little square by the National Gallery Art Museum. And I think we got some really fun photos together. Usually Allegri and I don't ever get photos together because one of us is always taking one of the other. So it's very cool to be in like a tour group because we actually got a photo together! And I think they actually look really cute. So, shout out to Paige. Imagine I just like, eat it. <laughs> back, back here, 
at this spot, 7.15. Please, please wait, yes. 45 minutes. We've been given 45 minutes of free time here in Covent Garden and there's a bunch of shopping, food. Okay, so there's a place for British tea. Ooh, do you want to go there? I, I would love you to You probably live. do. I was going to say, do you like tea? I, I do like, like tea. tea. Okay. Allegria is currently freezing. Mm -hmm. Her hands are like little mm -hmm. popsicles. Hello, ears are Ear. numb. <laughs> <laughs> Frozen. I'm going to cover them up. Okay. <laughs> Let's get tea, get okay. something for you to hold, warm up mm -hmm. your hands. Mm -hmm. I haven't had coffee in oh, yeah, much too haven't. long. We had coffee like a day and a half ago. I, I forgot, like we kind of right. time travel. We traveled for 12 hours and we were at the airport for like four hours and then we've had a whole day here. First order of business. Let's go. Probably this way. <laughs> little hot chocolate shots. Cheers. It's very good. It tastes like Irish coffee, kind of. Actually, very good. I, if they gave me this and they didn't tell me what it was, I would have never guessed hot chocolate. No, it's me either. Good. It's amazing, though. We made our first official purchase in London. We got some teas. I got the Alice mug. Actually, I got the Alice cup and saucer. What'd you get? I got tea for my mom, tea for my sister, and a little sample. Mm -hmm. It looks very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gosh, I can't get over how beautiful it is today. Like the clouds have cleared because earlier it was rainy snowy and tell me why now it is the perfect pink golden glow it's beautiful the lighting soft it's like the perfect walking i think it's perfect walking weather when you've got like a nice coat and a brisk walk keeps you warm we're at dinner allegria ordered a their special ale she doesn't like it so i'm going to absorb it and try it Cheers. I can see why you'd hate it. Not bad, pretty good. This is the thing that sparked, and so I'm very because uh, it, does, it didn't spark just because of this switch, it sparked because it has something in it. So this is so, the problem. Yeah, well, oh. I'll see it once again then. Okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it's something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so should we ban this? Yeah, you should ban this. <laughs> <laughs> you throw this out. <laughs> Is it light on now? No. Oh wait, do you want to turn it on? No. No. <laughs> it doesn't work. I think the second spot made all dark. <laughs> yeah, I will, I will switch your rooms. I think this room's cursed. <laughs> because of Amazon. The classic Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Stupid Jeff Bezos. <laughs> 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 I, was, I was checking out, is it working Good morning, guys. Today we have our first official guided tour day. We've got these nifty little, I don't know, things that I feel like I've only ever seen in TV shows and movies. Think old 90s Walkman, and then you get a little headphone earpiece one side and then the person just talks and the radio's through you hear what he's saying you could be all the way in the back you could be in the middle you could be by him right now we're just walking around london seeing the sights we have tower bridge right in the back which is a gorgeous 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 bridge how are you doing this morning hello i'm great we had our coffee we had, we had a coffee we had our breakfast we got our morning cardio in it was a good time. Quick little catch up on the morning before we headed out for the tour. Allegri and I woke up extra early this morning to go find some good coffee. Cue the running clip. Good morning! <laughs> We're currently jogging to the coffee shop because it's a little, you know, it's a little bit of a distance. I'm trying to make sure we're timely. Do you think this will make us slower in the long run? <laughs> no, I don't think it will. <laughs> I oh, thought no. we were not gonna work out for 11 days, but here we are. We were straight booking it. The coffee was so good. We went to a place called Carbon Coffee, but because of our running, we ended up making it back in time and we even got a chance to stop for a couple photos, but it was definitely a very hectic time. Of dogs, anyway. yeah. 
and then it drips down. She used to bathe once a month. Oh, yeah. It's all about too much. <laughs> okay, some people think that bathing once a month is bad for you. Now, the stench in there, guys, would have been rank. So much so that the actors on stage, they would either be rubbing garlic into their nostrils or garlic oil. I can't believe this Uber boat. Definitely something we don't have at home. <laughs> oh We've taken a double decker bus over to Westminster. We're exploring from a different angle. We just got a whole debrief on the church, the architecture of the church, the history of the church. In person, it is absolutely stunning. So gorgeous. Allegria's dreams are coming true. She loves a good grocery store. Huge fan of Erewhon over here. Like, even the way they name things, this is a roast filet. We would have never called it that. No, be like, chicken breast. Yeah. We've gotten some free time and we decided to head over to Marks and Spencer's so we could build a little charcuterie board. And Allegria is having a time over here. <laughs> Tinks, she always talks about calling the caterpillar. Yes. So Allegria is like absolutely hype on it. I think I did just what? find the perfect ones. Oh, those are perfect. mini ones. And it's, it is Colin, not that other girl. What's her name? Colin. Connie. Connie. <laughs> we wanted Colin. <laughs> Let's do a little Marks and Spencer's haul. Mixed seedless grapes, crackers, a charcuterie classic, meats and cheese. Wasn't enough cheese, so we got another. It's always nice to have almonds. Thank you. Two Easter lollies. And finally, the best part, we've got Colin the Caterpillar. Call it. <laughs> Call it the caterpillar and a Percy Pig sponge roll. All perfect for a picnic in the park. What are you most excited about? Um, Call it the caterpillar. Call it the caterpillar. <laughs> Call it. I'm always excited you, Colin. for Colin. Picnic over, free time over. We're back with the group and we're about to go on the London Eye. They were saying it's a very clear day, which should make for very nice visuals, seeing things. It's gonna be a great time. Are you ready to be part of London's skyline? Whilst you're enjoying the amazing views, the ride might stop briefly at times, just to help other guests get on. So our tour director, Adam, just said that he has never seen this bridge raced. And look, it's been a minute since we've had an update, but we have been so go, go, go. We went to Westminster, we saw Big Ben, of course. We went on the London Eye. We walked all around, saw so many historic spots and buildings. It's been so cool to see London through the eyes of somebody who actually knows where things are and knows the history. So it's just been fun to kind of bop around group to group and get to know everybody, but also be seeing things at the same time. Good day so far. Long day, busy day, but a good day. So now we just have some free time for a bit and Allegria is using this opportunity to use the restroom. There are few and far between public restrooms in London. So when you're in London, definitely use the restrooms as you need them, as you see them. Also, I can't even tell you guys how glad I am that I decided to pick up a pair of specifically walking sneakers because they are so comfortable and we have done so much walking and exploring today and my feet, like, not even phased. So we've made our way onto a river cruise. We're having high tea on the river cruise and I wanted to have my first experience with the high tea be with you guys. Cheers, guys. Yeah. Yummy, very mild tea, quite hot. Added some milk. Cheers once again, but with milk. I wish I didn't add the milk. <laughs> now, Tower Bridge was designed by Sir John Wilkes Barry opened in June 1894 by Queen Victoria. These bascules weigh over 1,200 tons each. Now they can be raised in just over 90 seconds. The only time they completely fell to raise was actually on that opening ceremony 
when the ship actually collided and hit the bridge. Hello well, ladies and gents, boys and girls, I'm going to leave you in a little bit of peace. Don't forget we have got a fully open top deck where passengers are allowed. Hello guys, we made it up to the top deck and it is beautiful. Not only is it absolutely stunning, it's also incredibly peaceful, serene, very quiet. Not a single other person is out here. And I'm like, you guys are missing out. It is stunning and so, so nice. And I just wanted to share this moment with you because it's absolutely incredible. And also one of the items that was on my bucket list. Definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. The river cruise was absolutely amazing. 10 out of 10, would recommend. We were just intending to just go up to the roof, check it out, but then the vibes were just so immaculate that we ended up just staying there for the entire remaining duration. And it was crazy because for so long, it just stayed empty, except for right at the end. No thoughts, all vibes. I think it's like so far been my favorite thing. You would say too? Yeah, it was so, so, so good. Yeah, it was just too good. As you may have noticed, I have also changed. I just wanted to switch up the look. Got on a little Saison tee. Still got the brown Vince coat. The Harry is my friend. Baseball hat. And then I also have my Abercrombie trousers. Tried, true, absolutely essential. And now we have traversed our way back over to Covent Garden. Now that the rest of the day is free time and then tomorrow is a whole free day. So I'm gonna end the day by doing some window shopping. Hello, good morning from our free day. Actually, what time is it? It's not morning. Good afternoon, it's almost noon. We started off the day kind of having a, like a nice slow morning. Everybody met to go to Buckingham Palace to see the changing of the guard and Allegri and I decided we wanted to just meet them there. So we were there for a little bit and then we decided to go head over to Harrods. We actually made a hair appointment. They have a dry bar. I don't know what's up, but Allegria and mine, we're, our hair is just not doing what we want it to do. Allegria's Dyson isn't working, so we thought we'd just go have a nice little treat ourselves moment. We ran into Jeremy. Uh, do you want to be in this? Yeah, sure. Okay. We ran in. Okay, actually, you ran up to us. I scared the crap out of me. I know. Did a little faux yeah, robbing I moment. I, I know. I did camera. I heard camera. Oh my god. Oh. Anyways, that's the plan. We're going to Harrods. Gonna do some shopping. Gonna get our hair done. Have a grand old time. Bags go with you on the train and are stored at the ends of the carriages. Anything like kind of carry-on size or smaller can go above your head. It's racks above. Every single work of literary work that gets produced in this country has a copy stored in that library. Lord of the Rings and uh, Wuthering Heights, uh, Great Expectations and Fifty Shades of Grey. Look at it, it's incredible. It's like Disney.
few things you should know before we start though. You really, really, really must be careful for pickpockets. Can't stress that enough. It's a step up from London in that respect. It's an amazing place, uh, beautiful, but there are um, more chances to be pickpocketed here. You must write your name and the date on the ticket that I give you. There's a space for it. If you do not write your name and the date, you can be fined. It's bizarre. First meal in Paris, how was it? So, 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 so good. I think it was like literally the perfect start. Yeah? yeah. Favorite part of the meal? That's actually really hard. The bread was really good. Oh, the bread was really good. The bread was good. And the little potato. Oh, the, that one was my favorite. The appetizer, which was like a flaky mushroom kind of filling with bacon on top. And then the dessert was absolutely delicious. And I saved the little raspberry for the last bite. First meal of uh, Paris, and it was quite delicious. And now we're about to head out to the Eiffel Tower. Are you hyped? I'm very excited. I'm so full, but I'm very excited. <laughs> It's kind of crazy because it does not feel real. It, it's like one of those things that you've seen all your life and then to see it in person is just like a whole other experience. It's absolutely breathtaking. So next on the agenda, we've got a little river cruise down the Seine and I'm so excited the embankment that we're on, Allegria just noticed. She's like, isn't this the spot in Ratatouille where <laughs> Remy is running? I think it just might be. Ratatouille is one of the faves. When I think as a child it was for sure number one. I yeah. watched it, I don't know how many times the DVD was like scratched. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <gasps> Should have said bonjour. bonjour. What's wrong with me? You're gonna kick me out of Paris. Oh, yeah, let's be on this oh. Wait, oh! <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> and do the river cruise on the top of the boat and I think it was the best idea ever. Like to see that spectacular view was absolutely incredible. It was just magical. I did I did cry. I thought it was just so um, amazing. And it's one of those moments when you see something so beautiful like that, that you do take that second to reflect and really just be so present in the moment and realize how wonderful life truly is. And it was really a wonderful, special moment. That has been hosting the first, first inhabitant of the city. The Parisies. Parisies, you remove two letters and you have Paris. This is where it comes from. 
just a simple sealed letter was enough to send you to the Bastille for as long as the king would want. Yeah. So again, it's not just anyone who could be locked in this prison. You know, you had to be somebody. And finally, we welcomed some women. The first one was Marie Curie, the woman who invented the radium, followed by members of the resistance during World War II, because there's been an enormous num number of uh, great women during World War II. So you have 78 people buried here. Seven are women, the others are men, because it takes a while to catch up. And that's the Pantheon. Good morning from Paris. Today we've been on what was supposed to be a walking tour. However, it has become a very rainy day, thus leading it to become a bus tour day. I do wish we could walk around because it is so beautiful, so stunning, but it is very cool to be able to not be in the rain. So it's been nice in its own way. We're now at a little cafe. I've gotten my first French cappuccino. Thought it'd be fun to try it together. So here we are. Cheers. Very good, strong, which is what I really needed. I'm so tired. I am on maybe three hours of sleep. This morning before we met up for the tour, we went and found a local nearby Moulin Chain by our hotel, and it was very, very good. Also got a little latte there, which was very good as well. So overall, it's been a beautiful day so far. And you can see the flame to the unknown warrior burning right in the center. To us, it's really the biggest symbol of our democracy and of our regime, with all the sacrifice of the people who had to fight in the name of freedom here. So it's not only the Napoleon battles, but it's also all the battles France was involved in, as well as the Allies. So that's why when there's a big state visit, all the visitors have a moment, it's part of the ceremonial and it's part of the protocol of France, to come for something at the Arc of Triumph. Let's go, we need to be on the other side before it turns the wrong color. King of Prince Louis XIV remained on the throne of France for 72 years, which is to this day the longest reign in the history of the world. No one could beat the record of Louis XIV so far. The only person who might do it is the Queen of England. She's turning this year 70 years of reign. So she has two other years to go if she wants to get the record of Louis XIV. Otherwise, that will remain French. All right, we've just completed our walking tour. The rain let up, so we were able to finish the last bit of the tour as a walking tour, which was very cool. What did you enjoy seeing? Ooh, what didn't I enjoy seeing? I feel like every corner, there's just another super, super cool thing to see. It's like endless cool things to see and beautiful spots. Just people doing cool things like that man who was, what was he doing? Oh, he was just like trimming his garden. It was just Outside so cute. Balcony. Very cute. Strange. Yeah. House vibes. Yeah, I can see that. I keep reflecting and reveling at the fact that this, all of this beautifulness going on is some girlies and guys. Hawk or walk? Oh my gosh. Wow! See, now can you imagine this? This? This being your hot girl walk? Imagine! Who's the statue of next to the left? I have literally no idea. It is so stunning to just see all of the historic pieces, the art, and it's just so beautiful. I brought along this Gisu bottle. I wanted to shoot some fun Parisian content with it. I'm through Gisu! 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 <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. 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 
morning on our free day, I actually had a meeting with one of my favorite clothing brands, Cezanne. They're actually based in Paris. They invited me to come visit their flagship store, try some things on. Oh no. And then they even put together a cute Parisian outfit for me to take home, which was seriously like the coolest and sweetest thing ever. This was truly just one of the most fun and special experiences, especially because I have loved and just been a fan of this brand for years. And it just felt so cool and full circle to meet with them. And I mean, in Paris of all places. After our Saison visit, we picked up some easy lunch from the fanciest grocery store I have ever been to. We only had about two and a half hours before we had to meet Adam and the rest of the group for the evening's activity, the cabaret. So we wanted to squeeze in as much as possible into our last two and a half hours in Paris. First stop, the Louvre to try to grab a photo since we weren't able to the day before. You guys, it was so cold and windy. I could not grab a good full body because my dress kept blowing up, but I did manage to grab a couple cute closer ups and then we cross the street to the gardens and I accidentally got this gem of a photo so please enjoy you're welcome now something on Alegria's bucket list was to visit Cafe Kitsune and it wasn't too far away so we headed there next for an afternoon coffee and some French pastries before we left I changed in the bathroom for a new look and then I wanted to stop at one last cafe before we headed back to the hotel but on the way you came across one of my Paris bucket list items that I really did not think I would get to do to visit and peruse a newsstand on the Seine. It had been so rainy and everybody had told us the newsstands unfortunately close when it rains like this. So I was like, dang, and I ruled it out. But then I saw not one, but two newsstands open. And you guys, I was so excited. I think these newsstands are the coolest, cutest things ever. I found so many beautiful art pieces for my office and my house. And then I had a nice chat with the kind gentleman running it. And it was just like good vibes all around. And then I also got told I looked very, very chic by a Parisian, which I now feel like I've officially made it in life. I've peaked. We called an Uber and headed back to the hotel to get ready. We told the group that we would meet them there to get just a little bit of extra getting ready time. And then we headed out to make our way over. And I kid you not guys, not two steps from the hotel. Like I literally walked out from the sliding doors of the hotel right into a grate. The heels that I had not worn once because I know that they are not practical for Europe or the cobblestones, but I decided to bring them as just a just in caser. The heel goes right into a grate and the ankle strap breaks. Unfortunately, I had no time to change because we were running tight on time. So I somehow managed to briskly walk down several flights of stairs onto three separate trains till I was finally able to sit long enough to MacGyver a DIY strap for my shoe. I used the string from a spare mask I had in my bag and it worked brilliantly. Come on, thank you. Okay, thank you. I really had no idea what a cabaret really consisted of, but the one I went to was absolutely incredible. I 1 million times recommend going to a cabaret, especially this one. I mean, like I've never been to another cabaret, but this one was just so great. It was really one of mine and Allegria's favorite things we did on the whole trip. Also, shout out to our bestie Adam for saving us seats. Here's a cute photo of the three of us together. Hey, hi. I'm dehydrated and hungover. Cheers. It started off with dinner while the most talented singer serenaded us and then dancers danced all around us. And then it went into the most fun assortment of singing, dancing, variety acts, all with a fun, spicy twist. I absolutely loved it. Again, I cannot recommend it enough, but I will say for transparency's sake, this is definitely a PG-13 type of vibe. Again, it's spicy, but seriously, it was so cool, so fun and so beautiful and 100 out of 10, do recommend. Should be significantly warmer. More so than it has been anyway. The walking tour is with one of my really good friends, his name is Tyson. If you're not doing that, then once you get to Rome, you'll have a, you'll, I'll, sh I'll show you the lay of the land, but then you'll be free to go.
Hello from Rome. We're currently on our walking tour. We actually had it on the first day. So today was our travel day to Rome. We had a flight. We left the hotel at like 645. Very early day. Go, go, go. Now we're here. We're doing the walking tour. We're on the Spanish steps. It is so beautiful here. I've never been to Italy before and first impressions, it's absolutely stunning. There's so much going on, so much activity. We're here on a Thursday. It's quite busy, but Honestly, it's it's not the worst. Like there are still opportunities and spots to get photos or walk around and not feel like it's too too much. First impressions of Italy, go. The weather is the best. Oh my gosh, true. It's making all the difference. Okay, Allegri and I have been I want to say struggling, but the last couple of days in the last couple of locations, it's it's been a chilly one. So to come to a place that is so sunny and bright and warm is a joy. Supposedly, arguably the best gelato in Italy. Good morning. Today we're starting off the day at the Coliseum. Right now we're on the outside, but at 9.20 we're heading in to go check it out. We just met the sweetest girls ever who asked us if we could take a photo of them. And they were so, so cute. Grabbed some photos and then I asked them to take some of us. Oh, we should go ask them if they want photos. Oh, yeah. There's one of the cutest couples on this trip. And I'm like, let me take your photos. I will take the cutest photos of you guys. Masks on, we're about to explore the Coliseum. the Coliseum in person like this is a real place so cool so beautiful and just thinking about all of the history and all of the time that this has seen is just the coolest thing ever wow we just learned that the Coliseum was built in just eight years which we were kind of all shook by we all had you know decades of guesses but eight years eight years Get those first impressions. Okay. Oh, that's really good. Very good. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's really good. It's just very refreshing. Julia, Yummy. Light. I mean, it just tastes like the fruit, but in liquid form. And good. We've gotten looped into a free glass of Prosecco and I guess Fanta. <laughs> but we have to be done in three minutes. So as soon as it comes, we just have to chug it <laughs> and go. <laughs> oh wow, you made it! We have one minute to take this down. <laughs> Wait, fast, 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 please. Hugo and this is Charlie Temple. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> this is the size of my head. Okay. Can I try a little bit? Yeah, try, yep. try. I think you'd actually really like it. No, I do not like it. <laughs> I'm gonna break free. Down in one minute. Oh no, my tummy hurts now. <laughs> we have to go. We'll be back. It. it was delicious. Great. Do you pay with cargo cash? Oh, 
it. I got it. I got it. Then. Okay, okay. The... <laughs> we got scammed. We've gotten moved into a free glass of prosecco. <laughs> we got scammed. Meanwhile, let's get. Imagine for each bottle, we can serve like four, five people. So that's why I'll go with three. Okay. Now we just wait until the temperature goes high. Fresh garlic and fresh basil. I don't grab the, the dry stuff. Take a look over here. Huh? In this case, not regular flour because prevents to get stick in the table and on the rolling pin too. And you let it down. Always guide your pasta from the other side. Hold it in turns like a book so we create a strong pasta. Let it down again with the rolling pin. We need to start at thickness number six, the thickness. Okay? And then four to and then you start to add nice to sixteen. Pinch it, but press your fingers through the pasta. Make sure that they are all separated. And you got the nice final result, see? Super, super long. Mm? That was What'd you get? I don't remember. Nice. <laughs> I got whatever she got, but with cherry tomatoes, she got their specialty. Yeah. And a Bellini for me.